Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. First of all, Happy New Year. And let's make 2022 another fantastic year for Linux and open source. Well, first, I want to look back on 2021. So looking at the videos that I published in 2021, I've been busy with my Pinebook Pro. I also bought some more gadgets like the Redmi Note 9 Pro. Um, I showed you how to create a live and persistent Pop! OS USB stick. I warned people that Apple is not protecting your privacy. And one of the clear examples of that is that Apple is actually selling targeted ads in their app store. And we all know with targeted ads, they can only do that when they are sort of selling your privacy. Now, looking further, I also worked a bit more with my Starlight, small Linux laptop, and I also bought a new router. And let's see, I had some problems with my Samsung Chromebook Plus, where the video decoder was broken and luckily they also fix it this year so that issue has been solved I bought a Lenovo Yoga Tab 13 I bought the Samsung Galaxy Book Go a friend of mine gave me a Raspberry Pi 4 and I also was able to buy a Pine Tab second hand because I think it's not really possible to buy them new from Pine64. Well, Pine64 announced the PinePhone Pro and personally I'm also hoping that perhaps this year, who knows next year, that they will also do a PineTap Pro based on the same rock chip RK3399 because I've played around a little bit with the PineTap and unfortunately on the software development side of things things are not progressing that fast and when we can sort of converge on a common platform or a common SOC then hopefully software development will also accelerate one of the surprises was Pop! OS um, releasing 21.10 also for the Raspberry Pi 4. And yes, I bought the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. And I was also happy playing around with the Ether SX2 which is a PS2 emulator for Android. I pre-ordered a, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, and is it like Fitium or Phytium? D2000 Octa-Core Custom ARM V8 Mini PC. It should arrive this month, hopefully this week. And I guess that sums up what has been happening on my channel this year. So when I look at the things, or at least that was last year. <laughs> so when I look at the things that probably will happen this year in 2022, like I said, um, this custom Octa-core ARM mini computer. It should arrive really soon. And I think also the developer of 
Box 86 and Box 64. He also has one of those, like a, a preview machine. Well then, something not entirely related to Linux, but I'm also one of the backers of the Reinstone R1, which is a color e-paper tablet. And hopefully it will arrive, well, I think somewhere in February. So, and they use DES, which is an acronym for Display Electronic Slurry, which at least last year was a very new technology. Well, 2022 also means a new release of Ubuntu and 22.04 is going to be a long-term supported version again, LTS. So, um, not really that busy with Ubuntu, but what it will mean, at least for me, is that Pop OS 22.04 probably will be released one or two months after the Ubuntu release. So that means that we also get an LTS version again from Pop OS. And I think that's also the moment that I will probably switch some more machines that I have to Pop OS, like the Starlight. One of the other things is, is that late 2021, it seems that we finally have the Rockchip RK3588. And well, we do expect that at least some single board computers from Raja and Pine64 will be released this year. Um, I personally would love to see an update of the Pinebook Pro with the RK3588, but we'll have to wait and see about that. Well, the Raspberry Pi Foundation is also, of course, developing new single board computers. The whole situation with the problems with manufacturing chips, well, it's also affecting the Raspberry Pi Foundation, but they are working on a Pi 4 Model A. They're also working on the Pi 5. But it's unclear, at least for the Pi 5, if it will come this year or perhaps that it will be postponed to next year. But I'll keep an eye on it. And one other thing is that I'm also very interested in Risk 5. So at the end of last year, it was announced that um, Vision 5 will be sort of the uh, the, the new Beagle 5 single board computer or just like a new revision. I'm not really sure if I will buy that one. I mean, the current, I think it's ITX boards, they're quite expensive in my opinion. And of course I can understand that when you're sort of like on the bleeding edge, that things will be more expensive than comparing it with something that's already established like Raspberry Pi. But at least with the single board computers for RISC-V, then hopefully they can get close to the prices of the Raspberry Pi. And the last thing I want to mention is, is that imagination technologies, they are also joining the risk five family, you could say. And 
hopefully we will see a single board computer based on one of their chips and imagination technologies some people perhaps will know them as one of the companies that developed I'm not really sure if it's the current GPUs in the iPhone and the iPad, but they have developed GPUs for Apple. Perhaps they're still doing it. But now they also are doing it for RISC-V. So I think 2022 will be an exciting year for Linux, for open source. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.